Well, ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump today, in wanting to reach out to the younger generation, decided to have an interview with the hit streamer Aiden Ross, and it got around 500k viewers. I think Aiden Ross is on kick, so this might be like a kick record or something, and you've got uh, Trump basically talking to, I mean, a lot of these kids probably are like 12 years, 13 years old, but some of them are like younger males who maybe aren't too political trying to get that voter block. It's an interview with Trump and Aiden Ross, with Aiden Ross asking questions. Apparently, it was, it was a big hit. You can see XQC, I think, the other big streamer. I I, I can never understand what XQC says uh, because he talks so fast, but you can see truck, Trump gets a cyber truck. And by the way, liberals are hating on cyber trucks hardcore um, because that big bad racist Elon Musk. Oh, that big bad racist Elon Musk, an amazing innovator. But no, 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 he's not Democrat enough. He's big bad racist, so we have to hate on everything that he does. But uh, there's the cyber truck. That's actually a bad. That, that is sweet. You know that that's such a great photo. No, no, no. You know what? Google might try and remove that. Google is going to try and censor it even on the truck because they censored the photo and, and Google's just really nasty. I know technically, you know, YouTube is Google and everything like that, but even Trump said, Zuckerberg at least called me about the photo being censored. This photo I'm talking about with him putting his fist up, Google never said anything. Zuckerberg said, we're sorry, that was our mistake. Google, of course, is silent. They're a cog, it's a problem. You've also got Trump and Aiden Ross dancing See, Aiden Ross, it's too much movement in the hips. Trump always does it with the little movement in the hips. (laughs) It's such a little dance, too. Um, This is just basically the same thing. So, yeah, this is big news. And then also Trump saying there's possibly going to be an attack on Iran tonight. Let's take a look and see what he says here. Pretty pretty crazy if this actually happens. If you're smart, our country is safe. If you're stupid, and that's a problem. We have stupid people there now. And those people are very dangerous right now. Right now, you know, I'm hearing there's going to be an attack tonight by Iran of Israel. They're going to be attacked. See, if the the Middle East is going to cause World War III, I swear, seriously, this is more horrible news if this actually happens. Well, technically, right now in the Middle East, what is it, like 3, 4 a.m.? So maybe it won't happen because I haven't heard anything. But, uh, yeah, this is just really bad news. I'm telling you right now, I hear it just through the same waves. There's no top secret information or anything. Right. But I hear that Israel is going to be attacked tonight. Uh, if I were president, nobody would even be talking about that word because it wouldn't happen 100%. And it's so, but when you have Pelosi and when you have shit. And so it's, it, it's so obvious all of this happens. You've got all of these wars. You've got the stock market going down. Historically bad day. NASDAQ dropping over a thousand points. You've got the Trump assassination attempt where they're the ones that say, you know, MAGA is radical, January 6th is all terrible. They're the ones with their little alt-left, you know, far-left 20-year-old kid tries to kill Trump and then they blame it and say, no, he's Republican. All of his messages have come out. There's all these things culminating around it and it's like, how can we even think for a second to, and, and not only that, they've got somebody that is probably the, the dumbest potential choice I mean, if they had a primary and maybe it was Josh Shapiro or maybe it was Whitmer or one of them, at least you can respect it. There was no primary. There were no debates. There was no convincing anyone. This is not an incumbent. This is Kamala Harris being handed the keys with a horrible approval rating. And now with all, and and think, I mean, with all this stuff going on, there is no way her honeymoon period continues after this at all. This, this is it. It's over. You've got potential war in the Middle East. You've got what what has happened with the stock market in Japan. India was down 6%. um, and, And obviously in the United States, it's been really, really bad today. And we knew it based on the futures last night and also the crypto market. I think Ethereum dropped by 20% in the span of like 20 minutes or something. It was crazy. So so all of this going on, it's like there's no way that independents look at this. I mean, some of them might, but I'm just saying the vast majority. And that's why we've seen with these polls, we, we've got like Trump at like 65% support among independents. The problem is they oversample Democrats. So then the polls show better. It's like they, they oversample Democrats by five or six points. It makes no sense nowadays. But Trump is winning independents by 20 points. He's now winning younger people. 
him going, uh, you know, doing this uh, this live stream with Aiden Ross, it's going to help with the younger people. And see, this is the difference between Trump and, and Kamala Harris. And now it's come out and they've exposed her. And I can actually find this for you. Um, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure that it's not like, th this was not a situation where um, Trump had to beg Aiden, because that's what, that's what Kamala Harris is doing. She's begging all the influencers, please, please, can you come to this DNC? We're going to give you $20,000. That was in a memo. And now all the DMs are coming out about these rappers saying Harris is begging them to do it. I'm, I'm very confident Aiden, you know, this was not a thing where Trump begged Aiden Ross. Aiden Ross wanted to do this. He's a supporter of Trump and he's very happy to do it. And it was very professional. And with Harris, you've got, I mean, she can't sell out arenas. I mean, no, it's genuinely a problem. There's like 500 people that want to go to her events. When you've got an arena that's 13K, you have to do other things. You know, her bringing out someone to shake their ass. The Democrats don't want to do that. They have to do that to get people to go to these events. And also when it comes to the voter block, but this is the difference. Even Aiden Ross, someone that people say, well, he's a streamer, you know, maybe, you know, he's dumb, whatever. He just had an interview with Trump. It wasn't anything crazy. Yeah, he gifted him a cyber truck, but it was just an interview where they talked. It's not anything explicit to where it's bad. It's on topic. It's on policy, trying to, you know, get to young people, specifically younger men, which Trump is already winning. Uh, you know, we know that. Younger women, it's, it's a lot different. And I'm sure there's not a ton of women that are going to be influenced by, you know, watching Aiden Ross, Donald Trump. But I'm just saying, it's basically they're trying to reach the younger male audience that doesn't vote and maybe trying to, you know, get some of them to turn out in November, possibly helping Trump, especially in the swing states. Obviously, that's most important. Uh, but I did want to find that one thing. This was something that I saw last night and here it is. So this was exposed last night. Kamala Harris accused for allegedly paying influencers and celebrities $20,000 to attend the DNC through PR agents. And then this would be the email below. Any A-list influencer celebrity who like to attend. And guys, see, this is a, a common thing. If somebody is shilling for Kamala Harris or if it was like, especially young people for sure. There's really not a young person, even if you are a Democrat, that is going to be like, oh my God, I love Joe Biden. So if you see a young person, because originally it was Biden, shilling for Biden, there's a 99% chance they're being paid by the DNC or some type of support group for, you know, leftist foundations, democratic means. And I think it's come out with a lot of people who originally denied it and, and they're all getting paid now. Um, you know, there's five-year-olds getting paid apparently on TikTok where they'll do stuff. Uh, there's multiple influencers. All of it's come out. And so they have to pay them because no young person wants to really support Biden. Even if you are a Democrat and you're a young person, the dude's like 99 years old. He can't talk. Why would I really be energized about supporting him? And you've also got this, you're going to get $20,000 to go to the DNC because they're trying to manipulate young people with influencers and celebrities. So they have to pay them. Trump doesn't have to pay people. People pay him. They, they want him to come on. So that's the difference. Nobody cares about Kamala Harris. Why would they? She didn't win a single primary. She didn't win a vote. She was installed. She has no real support. This has been discussed multiple times. So that so they have to pay people. It's just like at the rallies. They have to bring in influencers to fill up. Why would she, why would Kamala Harris fill up anything? She didn't win. A, she didn't get a single vote. It's not like she's got this support galvanized around her. Donald Trump has won three straight Republican primaries, two of them being competitive, two of them where there was big traditional, uh, you, you know, donor money originally with Jeb Bush. They shifted it to Ted Cruz. Rubio had some. Trump beat all of them. And then obviously the DeSantis, they shifted it to Nikki Haley. It doesn't matter. Trump wins in 2024, the primary as well. So the difference is so stark and it's just, you know, thing on top of thing on top of thing on top of thing. Biden, Trump debate, Trump destroys him. Trump nearly dies. He comes up with the fight, 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 fight. And now you have them installing Harris because they knew Biden would get crushed. Biden doesn't want to even leave the White House. They have to blackmail him. And now Harris goes in, doesn't take any questions, doesn't, nothing happens. She's got negative 15 approval rating and poof, the mainstream media with how the propaganda is just crazy. 
Now they've got her at like a, you know, a minus five, minus six approval. I think it's going to go back down, thank God. But that's what it was at. And, and that's with her doing nothing. Literally, I could have done what Kamala Harris was doing in between the time when she was at negative 15 in terms of approval, brought down to number negative six. I could have done that. Anyone could have done that. She didn't do anything. It was, it was just all propaganda. That's an amazing, amazing thing to look at when you look at that period where literally nothing happened outside of pure propaganda. And, and, and it helps. It, do, it does a lot when it comes to mainstream media. It's sad that, that, you know, that's what happens to people, but it is understandable. They're all screaming, 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 screaming about Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris. It's going to have some type of an impact. So, um, you know, she's a, so you've got Trump going on with Aiden Ross where Aiden Ross is trying to get him. He loves Trump. He's a big fan. And this is the opposite. They have to pay people $20,000 to show up to the DNC because no young Democrat cares. No young Democrat cares. They're all being paid. It's all a joke. So uh, that's the reality of the situation. And, uh, you know, good for Aiden Ross, the huge views, I think 500K uh, doing that interview with Trump. And again, it, w it was a legitimate interview. It wasn't like they brought on anyone, you know, like to shake their ass or anything like that. They were talking about Trump and, and, and his policy and trying to, uh, you know, talk about it to young people. So, um, and then they did do the gifts at the end, whatever. Uh, but either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.